it's like 3 a.m. or something. What time is it? 7.08. Oh, 7. 7.08. Uh, we're going to Alma, Washington. There's an acoustical laboratory there in an old nuclear power plant. And this ex-NASA scientist moved an acoustical laboratory into this space. We're on the fourth floor of the turbine building at the Satsop Nuclear Power Facility, which is now a business park. Each floor can hold four football fields. This building is huge. Hey! <laughs> Delaying, you can't laugh. Are you? <laughs> it's like I can hear the building laughing at me. <laughs> Rooms of this size are excellent to talk about something called reverberation. Because the room is so large, it sustains sound for a long time. When you make a sound, it expands outward, it hits the boundaries of the room, and if those boundaries, the floor, the ceiling, the walls, are made of hard, smooth materials, it simply reflects the sound back into the space, and then those reflections continue on, and really, the, the sound is bouncing around the room. I happen to be in a room right now that was designed for reverberation. I currently have a close mic on, which reduces the sound of the re reverberation around me. But we can show you what this room really sounds like if you were the one holding the camera. Now you can really hear the reverberation in this space because we're using a normal microphone. It's something like a six second reverberation. Let's do some barbecue. <laughs> <laughs>